so guys this entire thing i just want to take you through about how you will uh, this is the exam software of cfa which you will encounter the beauty th the beautiful thing these cfa guys have done that they have given you this particular thing uh, as a tutorial on how do you use a software there are few features only uh, but you need to know so that uh, you know you are not new i mean you don't get caught off guard so there's this link over here okay <clears throat> you I, i've given you guys this link and as soon as you click this link you'll get this page you don't have to do much things over here you just have to press okay then there is some you know i accept terms and conditions i mean to be honest we always do that we are always law abiding people then there is a tutorial introduction you don't really have to get into all these things right now uh, it tells you what this the this uh, this icon is so if you select this icon tumko if you don't like this theme then you can select this and press okay the theme will look like this okay whoa or let's say you want to go a little bit pink then you can press this thing and you can go like this if you like all pink if you if you want to reduce the contrast maybe it will go like this and it will be the contrast will be reduced but to be honest keep it simple the default theme is to be to be honest very nice and interesting green and white color so yeah anyways over here you this is so you'll have to read all these things uh this part you will be give, give you'll be getting 19 odd minutes to kind of get through get hang of this again but as i'm asking you to do it do this before you go to the exam center so that you are mentally prepared mental preparation is everything so then uh, you press start the test now if you see on my cursor over here if you see my cursor over here it says section time remaining now there are different sections in you know your morning your first half and your second half there are different sections within that like there is a separate section for ethics and there is a separate section for the remaining four subjects this is a section time remaining it just tells you for that particular time, section how much time is remaining are you getting it now try to attempt within that time if you cannot attempt within that time that's okay it's not that you won't be able to attempt it's just that for your next section the timing will be less because the overall timing for one session is 2 hours and 15 minutes are you getting it let's say section 1 is 15 minutes only okay and the rest the next section is 2 hours let's say for example now in first section for ethics let's say you took 30 minutes so then your next session the, the the next section will not have 2 hours it will have 1 hour and 45 minutes left that's how it will be but try to adhere to this timing because this timing is calculated such that every question has 1 minute 30 seconds so that is our ultimate objective so keep that in mind but do not get panic if this goes close to zero do not panic and then there is if you see over here there is a uh, just a moment there is a um, there is this progress bar if you see now this progress bar is talking about the progress of the entire 90 questions exam so do not confuse between the section timing and the progress timing they both are different they both are different indicators okay now i'm going i'm getting on to the question part iska bhi hai na ha are ek minute i'm not getting into the uh, uh, solving just a moment let me zoom out now over here let's say this is first question i can select let's say for me for for, for I, have, i haven't read the question but let's say i think b is the answer i need to left click on this and let's say i do not i mean this is just an additional thing but if you don't let's say you want to be very sure you can just right click it let's say you are trying to use method of elimination you are trying to arrive at a right answer by eliminating the wrong ones let's say you are approaching that up there so in that case what you could do is how you would go about it is that first right click this right click and then oh you read oh, okay then b is the answer that's how also you can approach now let's move on to the next question let's say question 3 okay you can jump the questions if you want now i look at this question and i'm like oh god i don't remember this thing and i'm confused between a b i'm confused between a and c whatever it is but first thing first of all i will ask you to do is whatever you feel in that moment is the answer select it but then why am i asking you to do is 
I'm asking you to do two things over here. Do not waste your time beyond one hour thirty minute, uh, beyond one minute thirty seconds. And while I'm asking you to move forward, I'm asking you to select and then move forward because there is no negative marking in this. But again, you have a doubt in this question, so rightly so. What you do is you flag this question. So if you as there's a flag on the bottom, flag this question and you'll be able to do the see the flag over here. And then let's say you jump to question now. Uh, when you see 4.1, there will be a pop-up. It is typically in case of level two when there are case study based questions. So level two students will come across this. There will be a pop-up. It's a proper case study, and based on this case study, they will have to answer all these things. Uh, I have actually lost a. I have just highlighted this thing to CFA Institute that a I cannot this pop-up window. I cannot readjust the pop-up window. I cannot make it smaller. I cannot shift. I cannot even toggle. If you try doing this, you, I will not. You will not be able to toggle between this window and this window. So you will now. If you have to, let's say you read the entire case study, and now if you want to select, you will have to exit that and then select it. Now when you go for go to 4.2 again, the pop-up will come. It is very inconvenient. I don't know uh, if I mean this is what they say that this is a tutorial for exam, and if it is the case, it is a little difficult for level two student. But if you are a level one student, then right now I don't think so. It's going to be much of a trouble to you. Now, after I've done all these things, by the way, there is this. Let's say I've solved enough out of ninety. Uh, let's say I've I've been solving solving for one hour, and now I want to see how much I've solved. Well, over here, when I you know click on the grid look on the left side, I will get an overview that how much I've attempted, how much I've unattempted. Let's say I want to know how much is attempted. So it says that I've attempted three questions. If I want to know how much is unattempted, I will come to know. These are the questions which are unattempted. Let's say I have not attempted two point five point four. I can directly click on this, and it will directly take me to that question. So it is that way a little convenient. So keep that in mind. I have to click on the X, and let's say again, if I want to, let's say towards the end of the exam, you know, let's say I have fifteen twenty minutes left, and now I want to revisit the questions which I have flagged. So I just have to clear that, click on that. I'll go to flag, and it will again come bring me to that same question. So this is quite a uh, helpful. Please try a lot as much as you can. Uh, to be honest, don't get into the theme and all preferences and all. If you just look, keep on looking at this section review, so that you get an overall answer, uh, overall uh, uh, things of this. And lastly, when you are done, when you think you are done with this test, entire test, not just the section, the entire test. In that case, you click finish test. Now here's the thing. If at all you click on this option erroneously, don't worry. There will be one more window which will ask for you for your confirmation. Make sure you don't miss make a mistake there. Okay. So now you say finish only if you have done the test. And once you are finished, or oh, it's asking for one more pop up, or one more confirmation, and then you are done. So this is how the entire tutorial is. I am going to ask you to go through this tutorial at least this week, every week, every week once at least until you reach your exam, so that you are used to this entire thing. The idea is to get used to things.